Hi everyone and welcome to Morning Coffee Break. Hope everybody's okay this morning. Today is Sunday, September 11th. Everybody was remembering 9-11. Uh, um, I remember where I was when I first saw something about it. I was working. Um, and I was in a grocery store that I was do making deliveries to. And they had a... I think I was talking to the manager or something like that. Um, and I believe they had a TV in the office, in their office area. And uh, we were looking at it. And I, I, I thought it was... I was like... This is some kind of movie thing. This, this isn't real. I mean, at first I was thinking, this can't be real. This looks like a movie. Uh, I, I thought it was some kind of a prank thing or something. I don't know. But then it didn't take long to realize, no, this is, this is real. So everybody say a little prayer today. There's a lot of people killed during that. Uh, it's horrible. But anyway, like I said, today Sunday, September 11th. Currently, it's 69 degrees. High today is 81. Uh, chance of rain, 80%. So probably get some rain again. Uh, it's pretty pretty overcast out there right now. Humidity is 90%. Uh, right now, wind is zero. No wind. Air quality 77. That's moderate. Okay. Today, though, you know, yesterday I had a drive with us to Walmart, so today I have the Walmart haul. And we actually were able to pretty well contain ourselves. <laughs> we didn't go crazy. Uh, I thought we did real good instead of going overboard. Um, for dinner last night, we had uh, chicken sandwiches. I made some slaw, and I made fried okra from the garden. And let me tell you, it was so, so good. It had been years since we had any fried okra. So it just, uh, it was really good. And I did a short on it, if you'd like to check it out. Um, there's nothing better than some fresh okra. Well, actually, I had to, it was frozen, but I mean, you know, it, it's fresh. I mean, I froze it as soon as I picked it, because I only get about... I don't know, three or four at a time. You can't make a meal that way. So I just cut them up and put them in a Ziploc uh, freezer bag. And they stay pretty much, they don't clump together bad or anything. So I, I have a bunch. I had about a, a, a gallon Ziploc bag half full. So there's still enough for another time. But let me tell you what, that stuff is good. I don't like, you know, we don't fry stuff very often. That's... I can't tell you the last time we fried anything in, in oil, so, um, you know, if you just do it once in a while, I guess it's not too bad uh, to use it, like, to cook it like that. If I cooked like that every day, I, it might be a problem. <laughs> but anyway, you know, for your health, or for my health, let's say, uh, it was really good. I'm, I'm just telling you, try it sometime. Okay, I don't have any um, today's tidbits. I don't know what's going on with them. Uh, they haven't been having as many to choose from. And, you know, I try to choose ones that are not depressing or whatever. But today they only had eight in total. And usually they have anywhere from 15 to 20 of them. Uh, they only had eight today. And they were almost all about weather in Houston, how, how it's going to be, or Oregon, or California, stuff like that, and there was just nothing to really choose from, so if I can't find anything interesting, um, you know, I just won't, I just won't do it today, because um, there really wasn't anything interesting in there, uh, I mean, to, to everyone, everyone, if you live in Houston or something, you'd be interested in it, you know, but, <laughs> I don't know why they hadn't, they, I don't know if they've changed the person that's doing, that's over it or what, but there's not been as many of them to pick from. 
They had so many of them, I could at least find two or three uh, most days, but they haven't been lately. So anyway, I've got, uh, you've seen the thumbnail, I've got a taste test. Morning coffee break taste test. It's kind nut butter filled snack bars. It's creamy peanut butter. Got these at Grocery Outlet for $1.49. So if you if you find them, let me ha know how much uh, they were when you found them. Of course, they'd be in the section where the kind bars are. Uh, let's see what the nutrition facts are like. I know they're good because they always are with kind. One bar is 170 calories. Uh, total fat, 8 grams is 10%. Uh, one and a half saturated is eight percent. No cholesterol. One hundred and forty milligrams of sodium, six percent. Twenty grams of carbs is seven percent. Three grams of fiber is eleven percent. Eight grams of total sugar, eight grams added. That's not bad. Sixteen percent. Uh, five grams of protein, two percent of calcium, six percent of iron, and two percent of potassium. And it's got all good stuff in the ingredients. Peanut butter, oats, oat flour, cane sugar, tapioca syrup, honey, peanuts, peanut oil, canola oil, peanut flour, vegetable, glycerin, quinoa, molasses, <coughs> excuse me, sea salt, palm oil, palm kernel oil, palm kernel oil, gum acacia, alkalized cocoa, natural natural flavor, almond butter, vitamin E, and soy lecithin. Nothing you, you know, that's like chemicals, really. Okay, where do you open? There's four in a box. It looks like. Have the nutrition facts on it. Yeah, they got the nutrition facts on the bars too. Okay, let's see. I don't want to get chocolate all over me. Well, that's pretty thick. It's nuts. Okay, let's try it. Hi, kitty. Kitty's here. Kitty's here. Yeah. It's really good. Tastes like the peanut butter, chocolate. That other I'm tasting in the texture must be the quinoa. It's not real dry. Lots of times bars like this are are real dry. It's really good. I'm tasting the peanut butter. I like that. I don't know if you can tell anything about the middle of it. Certainly would be good on the go. Okay, I would give that. It's good for you. I'd give that a five. Five out of five. A lot of bars like that are just 
like cardboard or something. I can taste the, the peanut butter in this, so it's it's pretty good, and it's not it's not super moist, but it's not dry either. So yeah, you, you might want to try those if you like those kind of uh, you know things. Uh, they're very good for you. Uh, great for. Where'd she go? She just came in to say hi, I guess. Great for a, a snack, especially. Uh, you could probably do even a meal replacement with that. It's, it's it's not huge, but I mean, if you're trying to watch your calories and stuff and you want something sweet, um, I think it would make a good snack. Or even, I don't know, like I said, if you, you it might not be filling enough to, to replace a whole meal. Unless you can make it on. We don't eat much lunch. I could probably eat that for lunch. Myself. And be okay. But um, anyway. Did I show dinner? Yeah, I showed dinner last night. Alright. Um, let's see. I gotta find nice news then. But yeah, get you some of those kind bars. Um, I like it. Instead of being, you know, like some of them are really hard and crunchy, this is softer. And it's got that peanut butter in it. So, um, what am I looking for now? All right. Well, for some reason, after it stopped raining yesterday, all the critters came out back here. I had rabbits, squirrels, there's always chipmunks running around, um, blue jays, there was like five, there was a family of blue jays or something, there was like five of them, uh, there was cardinals out there, there was uh, doves, I was like, what is going on, they were picking around, I guess there's bugs in my, my beds out there, they're picking around I, don't, I hope they're not getting the seeds the seeds are under the ground under the dirt so i wouldn't think they could tell where the seeds are anything's possible okay where is it here it is maybe after it rains there was you know bugs oh yeah okay today's sunday so nice news is different on sunday it's something about like the coming week and stuff. Let's see if this is. I don't know if this is something. You may have heard. It. I don't know if this is something you want to. That I, I want. Anyway, it says practice gratitude as we all prepare to step into a new week. And continue on the mindfulness journey we're taking together. We at Nice News want to create space to ponder what it means to walk through life with gratitude, constantly giving thanks for the beauty and goodness around us. You may have heard that gratitude can have tangible and transformative effects. In fact, there isn't enough, isn't room enough in this edition to list all the benefits. So it goes on. Recent discoveries. There's a under pressure tribute. In 1981, David Bowie and Queen combined creative forces to write and record what would become an anthem for the ages. Under pressure. This year, the biggest rock band on earth, Rockin' 1000, performed an amazing cover of the hit song as part of a two-hour concert in Paris. All thousand musicians sang and played together a moving display of harmony in every sense of the word. A thousand. Wow. Things we love. That's something about an app. Cook 
cookie dough. Video of the week. Here's a inspiring story. I recently fractured several vertebrae in my spine and can only walk short distances. On a recent trip from Seattle home to Milwaukee, my wife and eight-year-old granddaughter were pushing my wheelchair and dragging our luggage. It was an unusually long distance to the gate and they were struggling up a small incline. A woman asked if she could help and with her help we made it to the gate. She hurried off to her own gate before we could really thank her for this simple but meaningful act of kindness. Mm. It says send you send send a thank you note. In addition to taking stock of all you're grateful for this week, put your appreciation into practice or send or hand deliver a thank you note. It could be for something simple like your local barista making you the perfect pumpkin spice latte each morning or something more impactful like a good friend supporting you when you needed it most. For inspiration, check out author Gina Hamaday's experience writing a daily thank you card in what she dubbed her year of gratitude. And here's the quote of the day. This is from Maya Angelou. This is a wonderful day. I have never seen this one before. <laughs> so anyway, like I said on Sunday, they just kind of are setting the, the theme, I guess, for the coming week. I guess it would be gratitude. And it uh, just shows different things. So it's a little different on Sunday, but we'll get back to the normal nice news on Monday, tomorrow. So anyway, I hope you all enjoyed it today. Sorry I didn't have any today's tidbits. There just wasn't anything to 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 use really so uh anyway the sun's trying to peek out for right now i don't know what time it's supposed to start raining i'll have to look at look at the weather report and see but anyway i hope you all enjoyed this today in the taste test morning coffee break taste test if you did i hope you'll press the like button also subscribe if you haven't already and share this out and hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. Everybody, I hope you have a great day. And we'll see you later on. And watch Walmart haul today. Bye, everyone, and God bless.